The inlay feature can be used to create male and female parts of different materials that fit together for the purpose of creating decorative items. When the inlay feature is checked the route in the routing offset or fill toolpath, any outside corners of a part will automatically have a radius put on them to help fit the inside hole of a part created with the same bit. Also, there's an inlay gap value that can be adjusted to account for material swelling or to leave room for painting. To show how the inlay tool works, we're going to start off by drawing a rectangle. And if we zoom into one of the corners, we'll see we do have a sharp corner here on this rectangle. Now, if we were to come and take a, a tool like a quarter inch end mill and to do a pocket on the inside of this rectangle, the resulting shape would have a little bit of a radius in the corner because the round cutting tool would leave a radius. There are some techniques you could use to produce a sharper corner, but the easier way would produce a little radius in the corners. To account for this, the route has an inlay feature, and if we come here and apply a routing offset with a quarter inch end mill, and uh, we do not check the inlay feature, we'll notice we will get a sharp corner, which is what our desired effect would be. However, if we edit the toolpath and check the inlay feature, and here's a little value for the gap. When we hit OK, we would notice that the, the corner would have a radius. This radius would be created in such a way that it would automatically fit the female part made with a tool from the same radius. So the male and the female will get together. The inlay gap value you see is actually a total gap. And so if we use a 0.01 inch gap for, for our inlay, we would want to use 0.01 for the male. So we'll just go back here again and put 0.01 for the male, and we would want to put 0.01 for the female. That would provide for a total inlay gap of 0.05, and the female part would be made bigger by 0.005, and the male part smaller by 0.005. That way the, the gap would be a total of 0.01. But it's very easy to create the inlay. All you have to do is check the inlay button when you're applying a, a male routing offset or a female routing offset or, or island fill toolpath to a geometry that you want to inlay.